Hey, I'm Rusty Kath, and today we're going to be talking about effective and efficient tank monitoring solutions. And joining me today, an expert on the topic, Helena Jortsberg from Emerson. Helena, thanks so much for joining us today. Oh, my pleasure. Helena, what does the term tank monitoring actually mean? Well, uh, when we talk about tank monitoring, or if you prefer calling it inventory management for smaller tanks, we, re we refer to systems that today only measure level, but would benefit from also adding temperature and maybe even pressure. The temperature and level could then be used to calculate the volume. Tank monitoring is about monitoring an asset, not controlling the process. What particular aspect about tank monitoring brings value to the customer? Well, with our system, customers can easily add both average temperature and volume calculations, which gives them more insight into their overall inventory status. The benefit would then be a comprehensive, all-in-one system built by a single supplier, which itself relieves a lot of burdens in the product management process. It also helps ensure the right balance of technical expertise related to the solutions used. Then of course, the fact that they can get inventory safety and overfill functionality into one system is also a great value. What are the major benefits with this system? Well, combining inventory safety and overfill in one and the same system is a great benefit. Also, our wireless offering and the digital bus concept that, that we offer adds huge flexibility, as well as a cost-effective installation and integration using data concentrators. Why is that? Well, the tank hub sends 250 milliamps out on the tank bus, which supports daisy chain. It has a capacity of connecting up to 16 devices on 10 tanks, which means that you save a lot of cabling using this way of installation. The tank hub can also become wireless with the help of a wireless thumb, also saving a lot of cabling. Are there any other benefits? Well, absolutely. The increased visibility through system and HMI solves pain and takes safety to a higher level. Is this new? No, it's not really a new thing. We've been doing this for 30 plus years for tank aging. But what we do see now is that customers with lower requirements, no API or OIML requirements, have also realized they would benefit from more visibility into the tanks, like temperature measurement and volume calculations, as I mentioned earlier. So the opportunity to have an HMI to view all the data in one place, maybe even via mobile app for instant access is a major differentiator and ease a lot of operational burdens. Uh, is this type of solution limited to any specific industry or application? Well, no, not at all. There is a lot of use cases. Uh, for example, fuel depots with no requirements on tank aging or overfill preventions. Uh, LPG bottling plants, uh, additive tanks, finished product tank storage areas like lubrication plants. You will often see such monitoring practices in power plants where gas or oil is used to operate the plant and operators need insight into those tanks as well. Then we have the food and beverage applications such as palm oil where we, both level and temperature is required. Chemical paint factories, fertilizer plants, latex processing plants are other use cases of such system. That's, that's a lot. So can we see a demonstration of the system in action? Or what sort of devices make up the whole system? Oh, of course. Let's start with the radar. We have the 5408 here, which is a non-contacting radar that gives great uh, input to the process. We also have the 5300, uh, which is a guided wave radar. The use of these two products is typically based on preference depending on the applications. In addition to the, these two products, we can also add temperature sensors. And this one is the 20, 2240 multi-input temperature transmitter, which is being used by the tank aging system. It gives you 16, up to 16 uh, temperature spots, but it can also be scaled down to four, uh, which is more than enough for most of the applications. If you're fine with just one or two temperature spots, you have the 644 over here on the side. The devices are connected to the tank hub over here. You have one there as well, which collects the data, calculates average temperature, and transports the data to the HMI or host. What about volume calculations? Is that being calculated by the tank hub as well? Well, total observed volume can be calculated by the tank hub. If you need more accurate volume calculations, like API calculations, uh, those are being handled by the Tank Master Software or the 2460 System Hub, if the customer prefers that interface. 
The 2460, by the way, transfer real-time tank aging data from field devices to the Rosemont Tank Master inventory management software or a host or DCS system. It's designed for larger systems and supports system redundancy and emulation of other vendors' devices. Maybe not so relevant for the tank monitoring system as, as it looks today. The Rosemont Tank Master is a software suite with a configuration tool and an operator's interface. This software is available in different levels, ranging from the tank server itself, conducting calculations, to WinView, which is more of a monitoring uh, application, with WinOPI, which is designed for tank gauging applications. There's a lot to follow here. Is the broad, robust nature of the system why having a single system provider is beneficial? Oh yes, definitely. And we have more to come. We also have the Tankmaster Mobile Inventory Management System. With the Tankmaster Mobile, you can get instant inventory overview as well as quick access to details no matter where you are. It also enables the chance to share inventory data with, with the organization as well as externally, ensuring that personnel and partners have the information they require right when and where they need it. Does management benefit as well? Definitely, management can always stay on top of critical assets, leading them to better and faster decision making. Site management gets insight into local tanks and operations, and consolidated data from multiple sites can be shared to headquarters and corporate executives. Helena, thank you so much for taking the time to go through all of this with us today. If people want to learn more about Emerson's tank monitoring solutions, where can they go to get started? Well, if you're interested in learning more, you can visit us at emerson.com slash Rosemont Tank Aging. Helena, thanks. This was great. Thank you.